what do you think caused that and how did you get that correct? Um, I don't know. Um, anytime you go out, you know, and play, you know, the game of football, the game you love. Um, for me, I always try to go out there and play as hard as I can and play with as much passion as I can. So um, it's there's not really an excuse to make for the lack of passion on Saturday. Uh, we just got to go out and you know fix it, and um, it's on me. It's on a bunch of the leaders to, to help fix that. Was that something you noticed as well on Saturday? Or? Oh yeah, I, I could definitely, um, I could definitely tell. Kendall, Brett said that after the game, you kind of stood up and, and said something to the team about kind of that energy thing. What did you say? Um, I'm not going to really go into detail on what I said because that was kind of an in-house thing. But um, I pretty much just expressed that we got we got we got to be better, and um, you know uh, I've taken it personal. And uh, this week, uh, we just all got to take it personal and. We can't go out there and have the same energy we did last Saturday. It's not going. It's not the way we do that. Kendall, did you notice anger, frustration from enough of your teammates after that? Because Coach Jones mentioned it was unacceptable. You guys won the game, but you know I'm sure you have a higher standard. That did you see that uh, that frustration from the rest of your teammates during the game or after the game? Well, e- either one. Um, yeah, um, I was. I would say I was frustrated um, just for the fact that um, I know how much better we can be. And um, like you said, that's not our standard. Um, we know that. And the beautiful thing about it is that we can go this week and fix it. What have you seen when you on film to start to do their first four games? Uh, they got <laughs> about 18 running backs that, got, that, that can run the ball. But uh, no, they, they've they got real great players on, in the backfield. Uh, they got a freshman quarterback who, who's been making a lot of plays. Um, their O-line um, is very good. Um, and they got guys on, on the outside that can make plays as well. So we just got to, you know, come to this week focused and uh, ready to take the task because they're a good team. How does being the underdog at home play a role in this psychologically for, for you guys to be counted out by so many people at this stage of the season? Um, I, I don't really go with the the underdog thing. You know, I've been counted out plenty of times in my life. and It's not, it's not a thing that affects me. It's not a thing that's going to affect this team. Because at the end of the day, we got to play on Saturday, and they got to see us, and we got to see them. So um, we'll we'll handle it on Saturday on the field. Is there anything about this series that's made on every game kind of such a nail biter? There have been some just absolute you know, classic games in the series past several years. Um, I mean, it's one of our rivals, and, and you know, anytime you're playing a rivalry game, you you're gonna have those close games because every team is everybody on the team is giving their all on both sides of the ball. And um, that's what makes the game fun, um, to have those games like that to where you can make your mark on it. And that's where we should, you know, thrive on it. When you see the anthem protest the NFL, what runs through your mind? Have you talked to teammates about that at any point yet? Oh, yeah, I've talked to a few teammates. And uh, they all have a voice. And, you know, they're using their voice for, for positive. This is nonviolent protest. And um, I'm not going to really talk too much about it, but they're using their vo- voice for what they think is positive. And as long as they're doing it not in a nonviolent manner, um, I don't see the problem. What you don't you? think it shows a lack of respect for the for the military? Um, my dad was in the military for 21 years, so I grew up on a military base. Uh, I've lived it ever since I was born. So uh, uh, I'm not going to really, you know, talk too much about it. But uh, uh, I just know they're using their voice, so what they think is, is positive for. Them. What would you do if next you guys question. were? Next question. Yeah. Next question. Next question. What do you know about this team now that you didn't know four games ago? Um, we got a lot of heart. We really do. This team works hard. And, um, you know, it's uh, this team is really close, and people don't really understand that. And with just being out there with, with my brothers every day, uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, we're going to continue to work. We're going to continue to get better. And um, it's a long season. and. And we can really do some special things with this team. What sort of changes have you seen in Shaq Wiggins uh, over the last week that allowed him to earn as much playing time as he did on Saturday? Oh, he's continued to get better just every week. Um, he takes coaching. Um, doesn't really get down on himself uh, if he makes mistakes because he because he knows uh, he's a talented player. Um, he keeps working. Uh, he keeps going forward, and and I mean we're going to need him throughout this year. So. Could you kind of tell that there was a renewed focus and energy there from him? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, like I say, he's been working his butt off uh, this past week. The defense Good. Had, had seven sacks in this game. Does that give you guys confidence going forward? Uh, yeah. Um, 
every any time you could put those type of numbers up on the, on the field, uh, um, it's uh, a new confidence that, that brings up. Uh, we just got to make sure uh, we keep working and we keep getting better from uh, week to week. It'll just kind of take two more know, questions. Had a, it was obviously a tough game on Saturday. It's been a little tough around here the past couple of weeks or so. How, how is this kind of a rally around each other time in that locker room? Um, we don't really pay attention to the outside. What everybody's saying is kind of pointless to pay attention to all this stuff because we we got our work to do. We got some work to do uh, this week, and uh, we're just gonna keep focus um, and take everything week at a time. So, Kendall, with the loss to Florida, can you talk on the the sense of urgency, the added sense of urgency that goes into to playing Georgia this week? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a sense of urgency, but. Um, whether we had lost with Florida or whether we had won against Florida, we would be taking this week the same way we would have uh, regardless. Um, Georgia is a rival of ours, and, and uh, we we just trying to you know, get a W like we do every week. So we're going to take you know this week, and we're going to work our butts off, and uh, hopefully we get that W. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.